this. There we go, that's better. I have an Electrolux 1521 marquee with a 12 amp perfect motor in it. It's Thomas Rechtenwald's and we're gonna do a lot of extensive testing with it. So let's see if I can do a better job in measuring the vacuum than what I did before. Now let's see what happens. Hopefully I get a good seal this time. <laughs> That's pretty good. I think I had predicted it would be like 97, and while I couldn't see it exactly until we watched this video, I think we were pretty close to that. So that's almost 100 inches of water lift. And here's my little adapter set that I used to try to get a good seal. Probably not perfect, but a lot better than before. And by the way, this machine runs at 12 amps. I'll show you that. Isn't that incredible? So just a simple 12 amp motor upgrade and you've got yourself an absolute monster machine. Of course, it doesn't have exhaust filtration, but it does have a brand new perfect HEPA bag that I just put in. Completely clean. We're gonna do a whole bunch of tests with it in there. Largely to add to my own database, I figured I would do some end of the hose suction tests. So this first test is using my, uh, my bag faker, my no bag bag. Yeah. Not what I was looking to have happen. Just so I can add some hose suction data to my spreadsheets, uh, here is what the suction would be at the end of this hose, and I'm using my little bag adapter in there, meaning it's the no bag bag test. put a bag in do the same test. All right, now I have a bag in. All right, now I'll have to go back and watch the video and see what it read. All right, we're going to perform three airflow tests. I have my little missing bag adapter, so to speak. You just tear a bag off and then you can use the cardboard trickster fooler mechanism and that'll make it actually run without a bag. And then I've got a perfect bag, never been used. Cut the little tabby off. And I have a vac back bag, Vacuum America Clean, it's the one I just used for airflow testing, never been used in regular dirt pickup. So let's start out with what's going to be the highest airflow, obviously, the no bag test. Let's see what this machine could do. Now, of course, if you're not familiar with this machine, it doesn't have any exhaust filtration. So it's literally a air straight in to air straight out.
you got to play with it a little bit. See if you get a good seal. So 6260 times my conversion factor, and we are at 163.4 CFM. That's really something. All right, so that's no bag. So you're not really going to do all that much with no bag. So let's reset, and I will do the perfect bags next. this. There we go. Contact. Fifty-six ten. Now let's see what that turns out to be. Fifty-six ten. The excitement builds. One forty-six point four. A hundred and forty-six CFM from the canister base. That's really something from a portable canister. Wow. All right. Last. Vacuum America clean bags. As far as airflow, are they better or are they worse than a perfect bag? Now let's go ahead and reset once more. Let's see, 146.4. Let's see how it does. Seventy-one, one forty-five point four. Eh, one CFM. Who cares? So, big deal. Um, that's just not that much of a difference to worry about. So, both of these bags are great. Um, you're talking <laughs> CFMs that are one forty plus. That is just fantastic. Now I'll have to go and uh, see what happens at the end of the hose. And I'll use the um, best bag in there and I'll just stick with it for the rest of the test. And then we need to go and put a power nozzle on this thing and see what it does at the end of a power nozzle. All right, so now we have the first of two measurements. You got the final hose connected to the marquee. And I made this little adapter, actually a number of years ago, this little paper cone thing. And it fits like this. They even have a little thumb tab. And this allows me to put standard hoses in it. So the fun part <laughs> is turning it on and hopefully getting it not to collapse. And then I have to actually extend this back out to the end of the hose. So, all right, let's see how well I can pull this off. No bag.
Got it. <laughs> well, what do you do with excessive airflow? Okay, so no bag, 4744. We're looking at 124 CFM from the end of this hose. Now that's no bag. All right, so now we got to put a bag in and it's definitely going to be less, but still 124 CFM at the end of this standard size hose, which is a little over an inch. That's pretty incredible. The perfect bag is in, so let's see what that can do. All right, 4409, 4409. And this is with a perfect bag in there, 115. That is pretty good. 115 with a bag in there coming out of this standard nozzle size. Wow, I wonder what will happen when we actually hook it up and I do an airflow box test with a PN4 nozzle, or maybe some other nozzles in there. That's really something. All right, now for the real moment of truth. I have this Electrolux 1521 with the 12 amp motor, and I have it set up on the airflow box. So let me show you how we actually set this up here in the lab. You'll notice my incredible super duper uber professional lab setup so i have the machine obviously up on some tubs i have the hose as straight as possible i have the handle reclined like you would be using it and then we're going to run it with a real hepa bag in it and then we're also going to run it um, with no bag in it just to just for the heck of it just to see what kind of high numbers we can actually manage to get. So I'm going to go ahead and run this now. It has my little bag adapter in it, which means that it's the no bag uh, environment at this point. So we're going to get some unrealistically high numbers, and then we'll put a real clean HEPA bag in it and see what it does. All right, so let's go. All right, so no bag, and the power nozzle's actually not running, and we're at about 97.1 CFM. Let's turn the power nozzle on and repeat the test.
and we're down to 96.6 CFM. If we take a look at my current meter with everything running, we're at 13.15 amps. Now that's not under load, obviously it's not on carpet, which is probably going to be higher. All right, so now I'm gonna go and tear down and reset with a real HEPA bag, and we're gonna get lower numbers, obviously. Got my little bag faker out. Got the actual HEPA bag in. So let's see what it does. All right, we're at 88.37, 88.4 CFM, and the brush roll isn't spinning. So let's turn that on. All right, no change. The same 88.4 CFM. And I don't know if the current is gonna change all that much. There you go, 13.2 amps. Really nice.